Good morning, brothers and sisters. Doug White, down here in Alabama. Got a little rain last night. Thought I'd come out here. We got a little rain and it's the cool of the morning. I already had my coffee. Just got back yesterday. Look, we are staying from 43 days in Birmingham. Thank God we made it back. Peace and love to everybody. From this old boy down here in Alabama. Like I said, my, my grass was knee high when I got home. And I cut it yesterday. I'm back in my element, you know, now. <laughs> Country boy goes to town, <laughs> to the city. <laughs> Found myself going down a one-way street, you know, <laughs> the wrong way, <laughs> several times. But anyway, my thoughts on, on my little journey is that, uh, with God, all things are possible. You know what I mean? All things are possible. It don't always fall out the way you want it to. Because God is in control. But uh, All things are possible. You know what I mean? Everything's possible. Nothing's impossible with God. And he is... Uh, uh, he is in control of every man's destiny. He holds the future. <laughs> he has the world, whole world in his hand, like that song says. Although probably the whoever wrote the song probably had the, <laughs> had the world as a ball, but uh, he's got the whole world in his hand, that's for sure. A little bitty baby too. Old man, too. He's got the whole world in his hands. Everything was made for him, by him, and for him. He decides, like I say, he decides every man's eternal destiny. I got to get busy here in a minute. <laughs> I've done enough sitting. But I tell you what, brothers and sisters, one good thing is this. Uh, it's lots of people. I found out on my little journey, all types. We had nurses of every nationality. We had nurses and uh, therapy people of every nationality. We, know. we had the Ogres, Russian. <laughs> we had the, the Spanish. We had the Asian. We had everything under the sun. And Caucasian. We had everything. Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Many of them, most all of them, showed attributes of God. Things that could only be known by those that are born of God. Patience. <laughs> Where does somebody get patience from except from God? Who may not hold my particular views about uh religion nor <laughs> for that for, my, for that yeah even for, for the shape of the earth <laughs> now my sisters that which may be known of God is manifest in them and if you look over there in Romans 1 some of these people weren't very nice people they had some very awful vices. But anyway, but for the most part, what I saw was God's people that did not know what they were doing. They know not what they do. 
That's what Jesus said. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Many of those people were God's people. Agreeing with the uh, uh, crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And the same, same prayer went out from Stephen. Don't lay this sin to their charge while they were stoning him. Thinking they were doing God a service. Anyway, many of these people, brothers and sisters, I've learned <laughs> on my journeys, from my experience, we're all fallible, brothers and sisters. All God's people are fallible. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, Brother Paul said. Thought I'd get out here and make a video of my yard. <laughs> These old trees hanging over our, these old buildings are looking good compared to the concrete, glass, steel, and brick that I've been uh, trying to get a breath of fresh air <laughs> when I go outside in the parking lot. But I'm getting one now because it rained last night. Just some little showers, just enough to clear the air. On this beautiful morning down here in Alabama. Well, that's all I had to say, brothers and sisters. Uh, we're back here in a, for now. <laughs> for now, we're, I'm back here in a, in a, at home here, and glad to be here. <laughs> I was cutting these things before we left. And uh, piling them up. We might find some use for it. For those things, for those uh, long uh, sticks. Plant some beans or something. But anyway, just gonna get on a dip here and do a video. Just tell everybody I'm home. For those that uh, watch my little video sometime, we made it back. Although it didn't look like we were going to make it back for a while. Well, here we are. The country and the city right here, brother. I'm gonna get out here in a little bit and do some picking up. Like I say, I'm in my front yard. You won't find a gum wrapper. But in my backyard, <laughs> you may find even the kitchen sink. Oh look, the fern kept right on growing. Them darn ferns. Somewhere in my little, my little, uh, over there on uh, the, uh, what do they call them? The uh, playlist. I did a song about them darn ferns. My wife, uh, I used to tease my wife about them, you know. She'd hang them up all around the porch, you know, and, and they'd bang you in the head. I'd say, uh, she, she won't plant them in the flower bed. She hangs them on the porch where they bang in the head. <laughs> them darn ferns. Anyway, I'm sure some other, some other uh, viewer out there is, is uh, experienced uh, plants. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'll be here, uh, I'm fixing to uh, crank the lawnmower up here in a minute. But anyway.
Sure feels good, doesn't it? Anyway, I always like to open up the house and either pull air in and out on mornings like this. I got in the habit of doing that one. My dad taught me that back before they even had air conditioning. But anyway, peace and love, brothers and sisters. Just wanted you to see I uh, made it home. And I, I hope I can stay here for a while. <laughs> 4111. That's where I live. Let's see what the temperature is. 69. Oh. oh, I guess I'll turn around and show you I got my work clothes on. Got my work clothes on. I'm getting ready to go out there. And ready or not, I'm going to uh, finish up on some, uh, I wouldn't call it grass cutting. I would call it bush cutting. <laughs> Really, I need a bush hog, but I use just a, a little, little small lawnmower. Got two of them. And uh, I, uh, I do the, uh, I cut the uh, jungle back, you know, as much as I can. Out here. Kids are coming over. They came over when we got home. We had a little spaghetti party. <laughs> the, the kids had a, made some uh oh yeah that's one advantage of having a large family <laughs> they had a throw a little party when we came home anyway so they might be coming over here today so I'm, I don't want the kids, the grandbabies, to get in any uh, pores and ivy. So I saw some down. I'm going to cut it up and try to cut it back so they won't get in no pores and ivy down here in the woods a little bit. But anyway, just sitting out here enjoying the uh, morning coming down we've been gone about 43 days give or take you know here and there but anyway peace and love brothers and sisters to anybody out there that watches my little videos it's all about God <laughs> brothers and sisters we all got to leave this world. We all got to die. The last time I looked. If the Lord should tarry. If, the, if we, you know, but to be absent with the body is to be present with the Lord. Is the way I see it. And uh, down here in Alabama. But Jesus Christ addressed that issue and he said he would not lose one of all that the father has given him not one brother and sisters but the great multitude and all he's like to say like the sand by the seashore like the stars in the sky that's how big God's love is and he is rich in mercy not poor in mercy like many of our supposed preachers today would have you to believe. Peace and love, my son boy, Danny in Alabama.